In this video I'll be using Chocolate to package an installed Qt PDF writer. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And now I will begin this video by downloading other necessary files for my package and I will start with the installation files. And for that I will click on the link that I have here that brings me to the Qt PDF download page. Here I will click on free download that should start the download for me. And then let's go back to the GitHub page because here I have this package called template and I will be using it to create my chocolate package. So let's click on that. Then let's click on this button right here and it should download the package. Let's go to the downloads folder and here I have my template and also the installation file. I'll double click on the template. It opens up with Nougat Package Explorer and because I will be packaging the installation file inside of my chocolate file, I mean package, I will right click on tools and then I will click on add existing file and then I will select the installation file that I have in my downloads folder. And as you can see it appeared in my package right here. Now I'll click on chocolate install, then I will click edit and then I will go back to my github page. Because here I have this PowerShell snippet that is responsible for executing the installation from the package. It finds the installation file inside of the package, executes the installation and after the installation is done, it removes the installation file from the computer. So I'll click on the button right here, then I will go back to my package, I will insert the script here. And we need to provide few values for the script, for example, we need to provide child path, and that basically means that we need to provide our installation file name. And for that I will go to my downloads folder, I will right click on the executable, select the name, I will select the full name to include the extension, because that's important, and I will copy the name. Then I will go back to my package, insert the value, and that's it for that part. Now we need to provide package name. Let, let's write cute PDF writer. Now for the file type, because this is an exe file, we need to enter exe. And we want chocolatey to execute the installation silently. So for that we need silent switches. And I will go back to my GitHub page, because here I have other necessary silent switches. So I'll click on the button right here to copy the values, go back to my package and insert the silence which is here. And that's basically it for the script. Now let's save it and go back. And now we need to provide some information about the package. So I'll click on this edit button right here. And for the ID I will enter cute PDF writer. Then for the version number I think it's for zero. For this executable, this might change in time. And for the description, let's say it's my package. That looks good enough. Now let's save the information. And now we have our chocolatey package. We can save it by going to file, clicking on save as, and I will save it in my downloads folder. I will also use my downloads folder as my chocolatey repository for installing this package. So let's click on save. And before trying to install the package, I will go to my control panel. I will open it. I will go to my programs list. And as you can see here, currently we don't have Qt PDF Writer installed. Now to install the package, I will open my terminal as administrator because we need administrative privileges to install the software. And let's type choco install. Then we need to provide the package ID that we entered here. So Qt PDF Writer. So let's enter Qt PDF Writer. And because I'm using my downloads folder as my chocolate repository, I need to add dash s and then provide the repository location. In my case, it's my D drive and downloads folder. And I will also add dash y. And let's press enter and wait a bit. And as you can see, the package was successfully installed. If I refresh my software list here, we can see that Qt PDF Writer was successfully installed. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.